find no time, no dessert misery. Simply serve angel delight over slices of Swiss roll and canned fruit topped with swirls of green topping. Mmm, what could be more creamy, dreamy, ideal, supreme, parfait, and redolent of a time when we all thought 60s sky fi food was just too fab and groovy for words? Well, I have a top flight cook with me, Moira Fraser, cookery editor of Good Housekeeping. Moira, at this time there was sort of convenience craziness, wasn't it? That's right. All of a sudden, af after the war, when things were so limited, we suddenly started getting all these packets into the shops. And they just took off instantly. Everyone thought they were wonderful. This new technology arriving, instant cake mixes, instant trifle, instant puddings. And we just took to it like easy. Convenience and speed was the thing. The absolute key ingredient on any packet was the word simply, and the quicker it all happened, the better. The thing I always used to find so thrilling about Angel Delight was watching the powder change colour when you whisked it with the milk. It's like being an important scientist in a chemistry laboratory doing an experiment. The new instant puddings and the dyed milk and the cake mixers, science was behind it. And it's only just now, recently, when people have done all this research, that they've found that some of the things they put into these uh, scientific creations are not necessarily very good for us. But we love them at the time. Put the whole lot in. This is it. Oh, Extra the double thick dream <laughs> topping. Yeah. And then, of course, then, um, those that were really with it had their mixer, as uh -huh. I have here. And all you'd do is whip it up. There we are, that's it, nice and thick now. We just then spoon it like this, isn't it? Just it over. looks like cream, doesn't it? It does, doesn't yeah. it? And it tastes very good too. But one of the things I used to do, I remember, was a beautiful cheesecake. Oh, it was marvellous. You used um, dream topping, of course, and then cream cheese and uh, lemon juice and lemon rind, and you mixed it all together, and it was gorgeous. And, of course, put it in a case. Absolutely wonderful. Mm. But, of course, with all these modern foods, you could do so much with them. You know, things you'd never mm. done before. Quite mm. so. And these instant desserts might not taste quite like real cream ones, but they do have a particular charm of their own. You never bought a cake mix like this before. It's new, it's fresh, from Biota. See, my mother wouldn't have these things in the house, these instant <laughs> sponge mixes. It was a source of shame, the instant cakes. But that was the point of the egg, to try and stop you feeling so guilty about buying a packet mix. Oh, I see. Adding something natural. That's ridiculous. <laughs> no, I, I don't think even an egg would have helped our family cope with shame. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not in your family, but hundreds, millions have bought over the years, and they're still buying them today. Yeah, you're just unusually paranoid. <laughs> <laughs> my family is no different. Seven cakes a week, they'd all go. Nothing left. They must like them. There's always something special about a homemade cake. Housewives' life easier and easier. Frozen foods arrived, and that meant instant fresh vegetables too. We at the moment. When the pods went pop. When the pot went. At the time, a little old lady was looking in the frozen food cabinet and said to me, "Excuse me, young man, how do I shell these frozen peas?" So. so I have to explain to her that they were already shown. She was quite amazed, because for the past probably 40 or 50 years, she shopped at her local greengrocers and bought peas in shell. Peas, eh, Mrs. Ross? Have you had them before? Oh, yes. I had them the first time about 18 months ago. I'd asked my neighbor to get me some vegetables. But to tell you the truth, I was a bit taken aback when she turned out with quick frozen peas. Certainly until the 60s, people really did only have food for a very limited time in the year. You know, a strawberry was from, say, mid-June to mid-July, and that was it. Unless you had canned, because canned food was still very important, but it completely changed flavour, so you could never pretend that this was something fresh and, uh, and delicious. And then quite suddenly we could have, well, peas were the, the classic example, which varied the unending roots and greens, which had been traditional in the winter. And people got really quite excited about this. Bird's eye? Oh, yes, of course. And are you buying bird's eye too? Well, do they keep all right? Oh, yes, they keep perfectly well in the larder. Do they? You see, my husband and I both go out to work, so we often have a bird's eye pie. It makes a lovely meal, and it's so nice being able to bake it yourself. 
And it must have made a big difference to working women's lives. Oh, crikey, yes, because at that time people were still sitting down at home to eat in the evening a full meal. And these poor women were having to think about being a woman, a wife and a mother at the same time as carrying on with the job. So it really made life much easier, so they didn't feel they were falling down on their initial duties. It's wonderful news for women. Don't be put off by the words microwaves any more than you are by watts and amperes when you use an electric kettle. In home kitchen, it could be the end of slaving over the hot stove. Oh, the sauce! Oh! As the frenzied lust for convenience goes on and on, the question is, wherever will it all end? This is the latest craze from America, instant freeze-dried Neapolitan ice cream. What could be more delicious? <laughs>